In today's video, I'm going to give you a full beginner's tutorial to the Fontify Google and Custom Fonts Shopify app. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is go to the link in the description and click on it and it should take you to this page here. So once you get to this page here, you're going to want to go ahead and click on the install button and that should open up on your Shopify store. Then once inside your Shopify store, go ahead and click on the install button and that should go ahead and add it to your Shopify store properly. The app itself is very easy to use. The first thing you need to do is enable the app on your store. So click on this enable button and that's going to go ahead and enable it. Now it's going to ask you to select the theme you want to work on. So just select your main theme or the theme that's live or the theme that you want it to be on. Click apply. That's going to go ahead and open up this tab here. And what you need to do is go to the left hand side on app embeds and it should turn this one on now if it doesn't turn it on automatically go ahead and find fontify in app embeds and turn it on then go ahead and click save and that should be ready to go so now we need to go ahead and go on add new font and from here you can go ahead and add google fonts for free just click on google fonts here and you can go ahead and click choose font and you can go through here and just pick the font that you like. So I'm going to go ahead, click on this one here, and click confirm. And then you can assign the font to specific elements. So I'm going to assign this font to all, that will be everything. And I'm going to go ahead and click save here. And that's ready to go. Now if you want to go ahead and actually add custom fonts that aren't Google fonts, you have to go ahead and pay. If you go to the subscription plan here, you can see that it's going to be $3 a month or $30 a year to go ahead and do that. That means you can upload custom fonts uh, from anywhere. So it means you can download them from anywhere. Same principle applies. You'd go ahead and click create new and you'd go ahead and just add the file. It needs to be TTF, OTF or WOFF. Add it in there, just name it and select where you want it to go to. You can now go ahead, check your store, and it should show up on your store the new fonts that you've added. So you can see here, it all shows up. Looks quite cool. And yeah, that's basically how you go about doing it. So if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below that it helped. Thank you for watching.